Hi, this is Chuck Hennebry, and I am going to talk to you today about how to use Google's Life Magazine archive uh, as a source of primary, a sort of a rich source of primary sources. Um, this is located in Google Books, which is books.google.com, and you're going to type in Life Magazine. And if you want to just look at a particular year, you can type in 1956, and it will show you all the issues of Life Magazine from 1956. Keep in mind that Life Magazine published weekly, which means there are about 52 issues in that year. So we're looking at uh, about a third of the full year. Um, and one option here is to click on any one of these issues and just take a look at what you see. You can make discoveries by randomly looking at uh, Life Magazine. See what's going on in the year 1956. What was happening? What were people concerned about? Now there's some cool features that you should know about before we get on to specifics. You can make text bigger. You can also make it smaller if you want to. You can look at two pages at once. Often Life Magazine like to use these double page spreads and it's very hard to see how get the overall effect of the magazine unless you look at the double page spreads. You can also look at all of the pages from the magazine all at once and that can allow you to sort of zoom in and say hey there's a really interesting advertisement for what looks like ah it's a, uh, a liquor that you can use uh, in making eggnog for the holidays this was uh, if I recall the December 24th 1956 issue probably came out in advance of Christmas um, and here people are preparing for the holidays and get a sense of what people wanted or like to imagine themselves doing uh, at the holidays this is one way of using Life Magazine, uh, but if you're often you guys are going to be interested in a particular topic, uh, and that requires that we use the search feature. Um, uh, if we search up here, we're looking through all of Google Books. We want to just look in Life Magazine, so we're going to choose this. This allows us to search just in the current magazine, or if you check off this box, all issues of the magazine. This is tremendously powerful. I'm going to put it in a topic, homosexuality, and... Here we have all the Life Magazine issues that reference homosexuality. You'll notice a lot of them are not from our period, 1971, 1964. Uh, in fact, as we page through this, we're going to see those dates over and over again. There was something going on in the mid-60s and again in the early 70s. People were talking about homosexuality a lot. Um, what if we want issues that are actually relevant to our period? Well, we can narrow the search up here, choosing any time. I want a custom range. I'm only interested in 1950 to 1960, or whatever you want to enter. And here we get uh, now only references to homosexuality from our period. And uh, if you hold down the command key, uh, as you click these, you'll get these in separate tabs, so you can look at each of them and check out what's going on, get a sense of it. Here's a reference to homosexuality in connection with prisons. Here's a reference to homosexuality in connection with, I'm not sure who that is. Ah, it's talking about the representation of homosexuality in movies and plays on Broadway. Um, and uh, ah, here we have prisons again um, and the problem of preventing homosexuality in prisons. Just finding out what are the uh, situations in which people are talking about, thinking about homosexuality, teaches you a lot about their ideas about homosexuality. So these are this is a very rich source. Um, so I recommend that uh, you use this to collect some interesting fragments of the past for your assignment for this week. Once you find the correct thing, you're going to take a picture of it uh, using Command-Shift-4 or whatever screen grab utility you want. Once you have an interesting picture, um, you're going to upload it to the website. I think I've shown you how to do that before, uh, so I'm not going to go into any more detail about that right now. Um, uh, but thank you for listening.